Hi, welcome back. Um, today, something that I've been meaning to do for a long time, bath panel. Um, a long time ago, bath panel got broken by the kids, um, accidentally it split, it's one of their horrible plastic ones, which I really detest. Um, and I took it out and I haven't replaced it, and that was some time ago. Since then, my wife has been moaning at me about replacing it today. So my wife went to B&Q and she's picked up 10 lengths of the uh, pine cladding from B&Q. It's very cheap. I don't see the point of spending a lot of money on um, a bath panel when it's for the children's bathroom. Um, <clears throat> but we're going to make it ourselves out of this. So I've already marked it up. Just gonna trim it down there, cut them to length. What I've done is open both uh, to the, the, the packs and I've laid them all out on the floor. I've picked out all the best and straightest ones that I can find, clicked them all together, make sure they're okay. Um, and marked them up. So what I'm gonna do now is cut them. So that's, that's them all painted, both sides, with just the first coat of undercoat. Now we do have a few knot holes on just this one plank, okay, and we are going to sort them out. Just going to fill them up with a bit of this wood filler but I'll wait for them to dry first this is the end panel or well, these parts will be the end panel just get these cut
That's okay. Nice and gentle. That's it. She's in. There we go. I don't think that looks too bad. Not bad at all. So, the next one is the long side panel. Okay, that's been scribed in and fitted. Just need to be another coat of primer and undercoat, and then a finished coat, which will be a lot darker than this one. bar panels in, the lino's in, the skirting I'm going to paint um, because there's a few areas that I wasn't too happy with just to leave it like that so I thought I'd give that paint. The dilemma was white or grey. I really like the colour of the bath panel so after, after having a little conversation with my wife we're going to paint it grey to match the bath panel. It's going to be good. Now, I'm being really stupid because I've just gone and given myself extra work. I'm very clever. spill over the side. So I ordered a new one. That can be replaced. And to silicon around the edges. So these edges I've just got some dark grey silicon sealant to seal the floor off. And then that's the job done. shower screen seal that I got off of Amazon and it feels if you compare the difference between the two one the new one's a lot longer two this one's as stiff as anything you know you must admit it's 10 years old so and this is the new one okay so this just needs cutting to size and putting it in place
This is the seal, this is the drip ring. So this, I must make sure this drip ring goes on the inside so it could divert the water away from the end, edge of the bath. Oh, that's quite tight, so let's do it. I'll push that one further down. Get that on. And push that up. That's it clipped into place. Oh yeah, look at that. Much better. Actually touches the bath now. So that's it, job's done. What started off of uh, just making a bath panel ended up being a little bit of a, a different job. Placing the lino, the bath panel, and painting the skirt in. But I think it was well worth it. What do you reckon? Compared to what it was before, it's not bad. Still got a few bits and pieces to put back in here. Just wait for the silicon to dry. Put the cupboards back in. In there. Yes, I'd have a success.